Okay, so right now we're going to be performing a hip distraction uh, manipulation on Taylor. This is indicated for patients with decreased range of motion in all directions. Um, those patients that are difficult, like you can't get them into the appropriate position to apply other mobilizations. So usually this would be something you'd want to start off with um, just to give them some increased range of motion for that treatment before applying additional mobilizations. So what you want to do is, um, Taylor's wearing pants, so I roll them up um, so you can get a good skin lock on here. If you're wearing taller socks, I'd roll them down, but he's not, so I can just wrap right around over this heel. You want to avoid um, applying your distraction first force over his ankle, um, because then you'll be distracting his ankle and not his hip. So I'll just wrap right over his Achilles tendons, interlace my fingers, um, and I'm going to put him into a slightly flexed, slightly abducted, and slightly external rotation position of his hip. That's the back open pack position he used to increase uh, force or used to increase. Uh, mobilization. So while he's here, I'm just going to do some rhythmic oscillation again to relax. I'm going to have him breathe as normal. I'm going to lean back and kind of take up all that tension from his hip. And I'll kind of just cadence his breaths and apply the impulse. Just like that.